reason I chose T40, I had a Mark II bread van at the time anyway, so I was into my polos. Um, yeah, I just wanted something a bit faster really and a bit more fun than my, uh, my bread van that I drove every day. Well, I bought the car back in 2011 at um, Santa Pod. It was GTI Festival. I had to take my dad because I was 18 at the time. I couldn't get insured to drive it back, so I drove my dad up there and he drove it back for me. The car was quite a mess when I bought the car. Um, I got it quite cheap, so it was quite lucky anyway. So it didn't really bother me the way within because I was using it as a project car anyway, so more things for me to fix. Um, it was quite fun for my dad to drive back with the oil pressure like flashing, even though the oil pressure was okay, so it was beeping in a zero all the way back from Northampton to Basingstoke. In terms of the rebuild itself, I've tried to cover every base possible really, 25 years of 12 different owners, um, it's had its toll on the car really. I had to re completely rebuild the wire and loom. Um, there was a crack in one of the chassis legs which I had to uh, weld up and then I stitch welded the, just completely stitch welded all the seams in the car. Yeah, every, everything that I, I took apart I, I rebuilt sort of to make it my own um, gearbox, completely stripped the gearbox apart, changed all the bearings, um, and fitted the limit and slip diff, settled all the preload up in the gearbox. It was quite a quite a handful and quite interesting thing to learn how to do that and then taking the gearbox apart before that. Engine size, quite a basic engine to work on, so that wasn't too hard really. Um, it was quite enjoyable rebuilding the engine, all the nice new shiny parts fitted to it. Yeah, all the all like the exhaust system, I tried to sort of make it my own. Um, made the down pipe myself and got my friend to TIG weld it up for me. Anything that wasn't original or I couldn't buy, I tried to make myself. The hardest thing about the build, it took me quite a long time to do it, I had quite a lot of time off. Um, sort of six months here and a couple of months there really. Um, mentally I'd say it was probably mentally was the hard, hardest part of it. I um, struggled quite hard with sort of focusing on getting it done. Um, once I got the car resprayed it sort of I sort of knuckled down and got it done. Nothing really I struggled with building the car such but it was a very sort of up and down spiral trying to get it done. Apart from that it was alright. Sort of tried to work on the car as much as I could, mostly weekends is the only time I got. Obviously I booked there was a few weeks I've booked off work to try and get as much done as I can. Um, when parts turned off, obviously you want to get them fitted, so it sort of made you a bit excited and got you um, got you to work on the car a bit more. Um, as I said before, the, when it was resprayed, I was sort of got knuckled down and got it done really. It was more the prep side of things, getting it ready for paint that took the, the longest time. Um, but rebuilding it after it was resprayed was really good fun. Um, so I tried to spend as much time as I could, much of my free time I had in the garage getting it done, ready to drive. Driving it's really good fun. I mean, old cars are always good fun to drive, no matter how much power they've got. Um, having around 200 horsepower is always, always good fun, but um, in a car that weighs under a ton, it just makes it feel like you're in a little goat cart, really.
flange of the car. I just want to drive it and enjoy it now really. It's been quite a long time since I um, took the car off the road when I first bought it. Um, so I just want to enjoy the car, do a few track days, a couple of shows with my mates and sort of chill out and have a bit of fun now really and sort of use the car for what it's meant to do. And go from there. There'll probably be a few things I'll change here and there and tinker with but all in all I'm quite happy with how it is at the moment. Thank <laughs> you.